So where are my left brain dominant people at? How about my right brain dominant people? All right. Well, the truth is, there are no left or right brain people. <laughs> when you use both hands, you actually strengthen both sides of your brain. So what you can control is, By doing activities that actually uses both sides of the brain at the same time, it forces us to think critically and to also to imagine. And it strengthens the more than 200 million fibers that connects the left and the right hemispheres. So this is particularly important to me. What I just demonstrated is the importance of integrating the arts into science and technology. STEAM is a term that's used for science, engineering, technology with the arts and math. And in today's economy, we, need, we have a STEM crisis right now. We're not prepared for today's economy, and we're far behind in being prepared for tomorrow's economy. We have over a million jobs today that are not filled and we have one out of eight jobs today that are STEM-related. And we have people that are unfulfilled, which threatens also our economy in terms of not having enough people in STEM careers. So what I'm going to talk about over the next few minutes is three ideas that I think that will help lead us to a ha happier and healthier economy and more fulfilled self. So the first idea is to be yourself. So I know it sounds simple, but we also have a crisis of a society that are comparing themselves with other folks, and we're not listening to that voice that really helps us to find our truest self. I grew up in a working class neighborhood in Detroit. My dad, a living example of hard work, worked 35 years at an automotive plant. Um, before that, as a kid, he worked nine months out of the year on the family farm, only allowed to go to school in the off season. My mom, taught me the softer skills and also an importance in faith. So she wouldn't just tell me I can do anything. She would tell me I can do all things. So as a kid, I liked to draw. But I had a passion for basketball. So I wanted to be part of my hometown Detroit Pistons. But my gift was art. So I spent my time in school throughout K through 12 doing art-related projects. Until I started hearing the voices when I got to high school that said, an art career is not respected amongst my peers. So I put down my paintbrush, and I went to the University of Michigan and studied computer science, at the time thinking I was running away from art. So I was in my career working, uh, and my mom called me and asked me, what was I doing with my gift? Uh, she believed that our gifts were for other people, and I wasn't using it. And you would think that would be enough to get me to contemplate using it in some capacity, but it wasn't. So a couple years later, we revisited this, this conversation. This time it was from her hospital room. A couple months earlier, she had been diagnosed with cancer, and this would be our last time having a face-to-face -face conversation. So they say that the graveyard is the richest place in the world because it's there where ideas, gifts, businesses, relationships come to rest. And off that urge, I pick back up my brush. So my second theme is called balance. We have a challenge in today's society in terms of creativity. We don't have enough people studying in the critical areas of STEM. And in a recent survey amongst CEOs, they mentioned that some of the import most important skills are critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, flexibility, leadership initiative, as well as information and media. But what's really interesting is that our kids go to school to get literacy, and they leave after 12 years without creativity and without a sense of self. Have you ever talked to a kindergartner? They have an incredible sense of self and confidence. They're creative, they're collaborative. So I think we can learn something from the way that children learn. They work together in small groups. 
testing their theories out amongst other kids. They ask lots of questions, typically the same question over and over again. <laughs> but what they're doing is they're, they're asking the five whys. They're trying to get a deeper understanding of the information that you're trying to present to them. And when they go home and they're alone, they're role playing. They're repeating the conversations that they heard amongst their friends, amongst their parents. And I think we can learn something from them. They figured it out. So role playing helps to solidify learning. Small group learning is project-based learning. This is where we get to learn from the diversity of others and have more fulfillment and have a better idea in terms of being able to create products that can meet the masses. So as we start to think about the education system that we want to have for our children, I think it's important that we keep in mind the importance of balance. This was reinforced to me just a couple weeks ago. I was at the park with my five-year-old, and she was reminding me of how creative she is and her sense of self. And have you ever seen a five-year-old dress? <laughs> they don't care what anyone thinks. They don't care if it matches. They have a great sense of, of expression. And I think also we can learn a little something from that as well. OK, so this brings me to my last point, which is inspiration. We all need someone to inspire us. For me, that was my mom. And what she helped to awaken in me was a desire to help see people achieve their dreams and goals. But if you can inspire a young mind to believe anything is possible, provide them with a vast array of tools that span the arts and sciences, and inspire them to believe that anything is possible, then you can have a happier and more healthy economy. So I'm doing that as a STEAM ambassador. I have a program where I go around to schools and help to show the importance that the arts has within the education system, within creativity. By the way, you're never too old to paint with your fingers. <laughs> OK. So as I stand in this historic home, it's not lost on me the importance that creativity has or that it is to be amongst people that are thinking about a better future and how we can work together to inspire our leaders. As I think about the people that occupied this home, I think about how we can use our gifts to help make a difference. And I think if we use our gifts, we too can take ourselves and turn this crazy world upside down and make it into something more meaningful. Thank you.